This channel needs something new, something fresh, something to bring Minecraft back into the limelight. That's where the theme comes in. I'm a hobbit, but I haven't had my adventure. This series will help me do just that. I used MCA to place a copy of Mount Doom a hundred thousand blocks away from where we are in Hobbiton. I must take my ring the distance to destroy it in the fiery inferno, even though I'm just as Bilbo? This series will be like no other, except maybe a, a simple walk into Mordor and far lands are bust, except I'll actually reach my goal. This is the 100,000 block journey. Now let's go. Hey, what is up guys? Trex here. Welcome back to another episode of the 100,000 block journey. We are back in our 100,000 block journey world where we left off in the desert. There's our little desert well enclosure camp. Um, there are some mobs around, so we'll just try and run past them as fast as we can and uh, cry just a, just, just, a, just a tiny bit as we run past them. Um, but anyways, this is day 16 of the 100,000 block journey. Last episode concluded with... Um, Day 15, I believe we were, what, 33,000 blocks, um, or something like that? So yeah, we are doing well. We have, we are doing the game sports good. Um, so now what we, all we have for this is, there's, there's a bunch more questions you guys have sent me, um, that I'm going to answer, and it looks like we just have some sailing ahead. Uh, besides that island over there, but anyways, without further ado, let's get into these questions. Um, number, uh, Elboy, we have some more questions from Elboy11, and he says, uh, Sorry, I haven't been around. I took a trip to Southern Washington State. Anyway, here's six questions. Number one, what do you want to be when you grow up? Um, I don't know. I, I know, like, what fields I want to work in. I want to work in, like, um, computer science or, uh, programming um, slash game design. I want to work in the game industry or the film industry, and when I'm working just, like, summer jobs and stuff, I never want to work fast food. That's one of my goals that I have. I never want to work fast food unless, like, I absolutely have to, um, because from what I've heard, it just doesn't sound pleasant. So, yeah, uh, I want to work in either the video game or film industries. Number two, what is your favorite restaurant? Mm, that's kind of a difficult question because there's so many good res restaurants around where I live. I really like um, Rudy's Country Store and Barbecue. That's really good. Um, some other good restaurants, like Good Burgers, are. Um, I really like a Smash Burger. They have good burgers. P. Terry's has good burgers. At, and a Hop Dotties has really good burgers. Of course, some of these uh, to you people that don't live in Texas. They probably sound like gibberish, um, but they're restaurants, and they're really, really good. So, yeah, I, I'd probably go with, oh, you know what? Maybe Panera, no, I just really like one of the dishes at Panera, Panera Bread. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say Rudy's for right now, um, but I like a ton of things. I can't really decide a favorite, so I'll just say Rudy's for now, um, and I don't know if that's outside of Texas, but... If it is, go try some. Number three, do you like camping? Uh, yeah, I've been camping quite a few times. I've been to Big Bend National Park several times on cycling journeys. Um, I, I like camping. I don't necessarily like backpacking, but if I need to do it, then I will go backpacking. Um, and sometimes I have a good, a good time. I just don't like, uh, the whole packing it in thing and only being allowed to bring certain things and being that far out into, um, essentially a wilderness, so that every day you have to, like, walk and get water. I know it's sounding spoiled, but, you know, like, people back, the pioneers, had to do that pretty much every day, but I, I'm just not a big fan of backpacking, but, um, I, 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 I do go backpacking from time to time, just not as frequently as I go normal camping. Um, so yeah, number four, do you like to play sports? If so, what sports? Yeah, I play, um, football, uh, Ultimate Frisbee, Wrestling, Soccer, um, I play all those sports, and, uh, I won't be doing wrestling again because the program at my school is ending. I'll be doing soccer instead of wrestling, and I've done soccer for, like, eight years, um, like everybody. Every, I think everybody's done at least a year or two of soccer, probably, um, and then also I'm going to do cross-country starting in the fall, 
So I'll be playing cross and, and next year, sports wise, I'll be playing uh, cross country, football, and um, soccer. So I have those to look forward to. And I I enjoy those. Uh, number five, what TV shows do you like to watch? Uh, just, you know, shows. I used to be really big into Doctor Who, but after Tennant left, um, I didn't... A lot of people say they really like Matt Smith. Um, he's great, and, um, but the show just kind of... It, it... Maybe I'm not... I haven't hit any good episodes in a while. Um, because I've been watching through season f five. Uh, it's Smith's first season. Um, I've been watching through that season on Netflix, and some of the episodes are just like, N no, I don't, why? Um, so, yeah, I used to watch it. T David Tennant was an incredible doctor, and I'm still a fan of a lot of his works, um, a lot of things that he's in. So, after he left, I just couldn't really get into Matt Smith. So, used to watch Doctor Who. Um, I, I really like Broadchurch. Um, that's another David Tennant show. Uh, it's on Netflix. Only the first season, though. I can't wait for season two to go on Netflix. Top Gear is a show I'm really loving right now. Uh, it's not not the not the American one or the Korean one or the Australian one or the Vietnamese one or the Ethiopian one or the Mexican one or the Colombian one or the Canadian one or the French one. Oh, but the original English, not the original Top Gear. Um, because that. That was like a 70s show. The uh, new Top Gear, the English Top Gear UK, um, or just regular Top Gear with um, Clarkson. Well, actually, <laughs> never mind. Uh, no, none of these presenters, no Clarkson, May, and Hammond, but, um, and not anymore at least. But what I'm watching, I'm watching on Netflix, and it's the show with uh, Clarkson that had, it's the classic show with the, uh, with the classic trio of Clarkson, May, and Hammond. Uh, Hammond in particular is my favorite, um, because, I don't know, just Hammond. Um, so Top Gear, I really like Psych, uh, I really liked Psych when it was running. Um, I haven't finished, the, I haven't seen, like, the last two seasons or something, probably because I was a bit too young for them, um, but, yeah, I can watch those now, I probably will soon. Monk was an incredible show when it was on, um, Hmm, what other shows? I'm, I just started watching Futurama, and so far I'm enjoying it. Bob's Burgers is, it's decent. Um, Parks and Rec is really funny. Uh, yeah, um, trying to think of any other shows. So yeah, Top Gear is the big one I'm watching right now. I just, I just finished downloading a torrent for all seasons 1 through 21, so I have that, all those many, many hours to look forward to. Um, so yeah, those are my favorite TV shows. Number six, which one do you like more, pancakes or waffles? Ah, uh, I, I don't know honestly. I think I'm going to say waffles because waffles taste really good. I like them both a lot, but I'm going to say waffles are that much better because pancakes have a bit of a thicker taste, and you need to wash. You need to you need to drink something to wash them down. Um, with waffles, you don't always necessarily need that, and Belgian waffles are delicious. So yeah, waffles are really really good. Um, I'm gonna say waffles. And number six, which one? Oh wait, oh that was number six. Anyways, did I skip over any? No, I didn't. All right. Uh, number uh, we have another question from Alex the Jalapeno. I haven't seen you comment before. He asked, "What computer?" I'm assuming he's asking asking me what is my build, and it's custom build. And in a previous episode, I already went over the specs. Um, I might put a spec list in the description, but the important bits you need to know are AMD FX eight thirty or something processor. I don't know, eight core processor, um, G four seven fifty Ti. Um, Crucial 128 gigabyte SSD, which has the boot drive, and that's about it. Um, those are really the crucial parts. Ha! Crucial. Get it? Because SSD is also made by Crucial. I don't know. Let's tame a horse. These are burrows, it looks like. Burrows. Uh, donkeys for you homeschoolers. Um, yeah. I, I was homeschooled for a while. I can make those jokes. Anyways, uh, speaking of my computer, you guys may be hearing a buzzing noise, 
or a loud fan noise in my back in my um in the background of my videos, I figured out the problem. What the root of the problem was? It was my processor fan. Actually, a bearing has either been worn down or broken or something, so it is making some buzzing noises occasionally, and the fan is the uh, has gotten very loud. So I am trying to fix that as soon as possible. Um, number, uh, we have another question from Banana Burn Me. I don't recall if you've asked a question before, so thank you for your question. He asks me, um. Who is your favorite YouTuber, and what is your favorite food? Now, my favorite YouTuber is Nerdcubed by far. Although I do also really like Rich Teeth, Chima Hunter, um, Rest in Peace Ray. Just kidding, he's not actually dead; he's just leaving. Um, I really like Python GB. He's like the he's really good. I enjoy his Terraria series a lot. Um, who else do I like? I like the uh, uh, yeah YouTubers. Um, they're, they're cool and funny, uh, not the vlogging ones, those are overused and unoriginal, and, or most of the Let's Player ones, says the Let's Player, uh, the bad Let's Player ones, I don't like, or the vloggers, um, so, yeah, ye those people that I said I'm going to suffocate, yep, okay, there we go, uh, I just realized that I was going to suffocate if I stuff like that, um, and another question on different videos, what's your favorite movie, and are you friends with any other YouTuber? I'm not really friends with any other YouTubers. I have friends that tried YouTube, but it didn't really work out. Um, but my favorite movie would be... Quick look at my uh, movie collection. Oh, I don't really know if I have a favorite movie, per se, but I, I have a bunch of movies that I really like. Um... Truman Show is on there, Back to the Future is on there, Interstellar might be on there, I need to finish watching it again, 2001 A Space Odyssey is really good, um, Jurassic Park, if I didn't say that already, uh, Apollo 13 with Tom Hanks, I really enjoy, uh, The Dark Knight is an incredible movie, and I really like it, um, what else, I guess Interstellar is in my favorite movies, because it's really good. Uh, let me think. The Princess Bride. That's a great movie. I like that movie a lot. Um, and no, it's not like princesses. It's tales of true love and high adventure. And it's very exciting. There's giants and men and fighting and fighting and Wesley and Princess Buttercup. And oh, it's so good. Um, so yeah, those are some of my favorite movies. I actually need to compile a list because I have a ton of movies I really like. But... Uh, Back to the Future, Truman Show, Jurassic Park, Interstellar, 2001 A Space Odyssey, and any other ones that I might have said. Napoleon Dynamite, um, The Princess Bride. Also, Shrek is a really good movie. I don't know if I put in my favorites, but it's really good. Um, and that's not just because of all the internet jokes and memes about it, but it's actually a good movie. So yeah, those are some of my favorite movies. Um... And, oh, I forgot to address favorite food from Banana Burn Me. <sighs> tortellini Alfredo is really good. I like Tortellini Alfredo a lot, especially from Panera Bread. So I'll just say Tortellini Alfredo, uh, cheese tortellini specifically, would be my favorite food because mm, just the, the tortellini and the Alfredo blends perfectly, especially if you put some cheese on it. And if you cook it right, it'll just melt in your mouth. And mmm, mmm. Mm, I'm really hungry for some tortellini alfredo. Gosh darn it, banana burmy. Why do you get me thinking about food? Anyways, um, are you friends with any other YouTubers? As I said, I had friends that tried YouTube that didn't really work out well. Um, for them, we're still friends and stuff, but mm, no, not really. Uh, hmm. Uh, I guess the most, even though I've lost a bit of contact with them, Jake Nate. Uh, 455 slash United HD slash a bear gaming whatever he is now um, he's pretty cool I'm I I w used to be pretty good internet friends with him not as much anymore but yeah things change um, I used to have kind of a group of people I won't disclose them but they kind of got m mean and awful it was when I was younger it, and it wasn't very good experience but um I guess the last real friend group of YouTubers I had was uh, Pixelcraft. So, yeah, um, 
I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I need to collab with some other YouTubers. Um, sometime, eventually, maybe. So, yeah. Uh, number, we have a question from Hunter Oreo. I think you've given me a question before, but I can't recall. He asked me, what shaders are you using? I'm using the only shaders pack known to man, uh, Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Um, I, I believe that's the most famous shader pack. I don't really know if there's any other shader packs that are quite this good. So, yeah, I'm using the classic Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders. Um... All right, next question. Ooh, we have a poppy. Next question. Oh, is this going to cut off? Uh, next question from Games with Warcraft. He has several questions. He says, uh, "Sorry, man, I've been busy." Number one, what's your favorite stereotypical accents? Uh, how do I say this without offending anybody? Um, do it, am I just gonna have to say the default British accent? I don't know. Um, because British accents sound cool, although every American does think that. Um, I really like Canadian Netflix. Uh, I almost said Canadian Netflix. Canadian Netflix! So good! It's so much better than the American Netflix. So, if you can get Canadian Netflix, get Canadian Netflix, because it has so many more movies. It has The Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. It has, um, X-Men Days of Future Past. It has Shrek. It has, uh, I believe it has Truman Show. Um, The Godfather, The Shining, has a bunch of those classic old movies, but yeah, um, some of them I haven't seen. The Usual Suspects I know is on there, but yeah, Canadian Netflix is really good. At the end of today, we're going to have to put some mutton in the oven, and or not mutton, uh, whatever, this, uh, whatever this meat is, this pig meat, pork. We're going to have to put some pork in the oven. Hello, piggy. I shall slaughter you for your delicious, delicious pork chops. Um, so yeah, those are... What was I talking about again? Canadian Netflix. Yeah, so good. Um, but yeah, British accents are pretty cool. I like British accents a lot. Uh, number two, what is your favorite year in the history of gaming? Um, maybe 2012? Because I believe... It, I might be mistaken, but I believe 2012 is the year Terraria was fully released. Uh, also, out that year was Thomas Was Alone, FTL Faster Than Light... Um, not papers, please. Oh, uh, what was it? Um, mm. yeah, there are a bunch of really good games in 2012, but I haven't really kept up with the whole years of gaming thing, so I don't know the best and worst years of gaming, um, necessarily, but for what I experienced... Uh, 2012 was a pretty good year. And number three, who's, uh, who's the person you look, uh, who's the person in history you have looked up to the most, if any? Man, Hitler was really inspirational. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, 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 I'm totally joking there. Please, please don't get offended at that. Um, totally a joke. Uh, I, hmm, think of an author, think of an author, think of an author. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Uh, can't think of somebody at net uh, right now. Um. Ah, oh gosh! Almost fell in a ravine, and we didn't save our spawn, which would have been bad. Uh, we need to stop breaking our spawn point because that could be very, very bad. Um, in case we die. So. Yeah, I can't really think of a famous historical person that I really look up to. So, yeah, and we have a question from Mad Max Cast. Uh, I haven't seen any questions from you before. He asked me, what do you plan to do after the Let's Play? I assume he's talking about for Minecraft, and I don't really assume plan to do anything. I think this is going to be like the final Minecraft thing I do with my channel, because I'm becoming a bit tired with the game. Um, it's kind of lost its charm value to me, and uh, I, the videos aren't aren't as popular as uh, Terraria and other games, and I'm just going to be pursuing other other things. I want to start a series on another game, which is very dear to my heart. Um, I'm not going to give that away quite yet, because I kind of want it to be a surprise, but yeah, after this, we are going to, there's going to be a game. It's very exciting. Oh, uh, Prison Architect might become a regular series 
instead of a Trex Completes. Um, of course, Trex Completes will still be a series, but Prison Architect will become one of the days that was Minecraft. And then the other game that I'm thinking of will take the other pl other Minecraft day. So yeah, after the after the 100,000 block journey, I really don't plan to do anything uh, Minecraft-wise. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to build any more maps. Um, I, I might build maps. I'll play with friends occasionally, but not regularly. So yeah, I don't really... It's, it's the end of an era, guys. It's the end of an era. Don't plan on doing anything. So yeah, that's that. Um, I, I might occasionally, if, if I really want to, I might occasionally do a video on it or something just, just for, just for old, old times sakes, but I don't have any other Minecraft plans. I've run out of series ideas. I've, um, started to drift into cliche things, which is something I really didn't want to do with this channel. Uh, that, those being, oh, we found a village. We should just camp out here. Those being like mini games and such, even though that mini games are free and open for all, it's a bit cliche to play them all the time on your channel. Um, sweet, we have food and iron. Uh, we'll, we'll sell down here for the night. Um, and cook some delicious, delicious, uh, pork chops. So yeah, I, nothing. Don't plan on doing anything. End of an era. As I said, there may be some fans of Minecraft out there, but the, the majority of them are Fortress Area, and um, whatever gets more views, whatever I have, not necessarily whatever gets more views, whatever I have more fun producing is what I want to pursue. I don't want to be bound by what the audience likes or what my schedule dictates, because that's one of the, that was one of the turnoffs of my old channel. Um... And plus, besides the fact that I was cheating and botting all the time, which I haven't done with this channel, I assure you guys. Um, but yeah, it's just time for me to move on. I'm going to do something I enjoy, a different game, that is, uh, and I am I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. I can't wait to um, get started with a new things and see what these new possible what new possibilities arise what new people I'll meet what new fans I'll gather uh which fans I'll lose um yeah things are changing Terraria is always going to be here though um so anybody that's worried about that there's no need to be because I will always have Terraria as it is my favorite game ever and it is the most beautiful game ever made so yeah that those I think that was a good note to end on. So anyways, in the words of Jeremy Clarkson, and on that bombshell, I will see you next week. Um, so anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I'll be back with another episode of the 100,000 Block Journey next Thursday. If you guys have any questions for me to answer, uh, please leave them in the comments section below and I'll get to them in the next episode. Tomorrow you can expect an episode of Prison Architect or maybe another episode of Just Go See World of Barrel Roll. So anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.